All right, so I should have gotten some more video or pictures of the progress, but this is the beginnings of our garden. It is 20 foot by 40 feet, and uh, I've already put in a lot of effort. You didn't see this whole edge right here. You can see where all those hackberry trees or whatever that birds sit on the fence line and pooped out seeds for. I had to tear those down. That took a lot of effort. Here's all of them. <laughs> so, and these little guys, my goodness. Now you can't see really well, but they will poke the crap out of you. They hurt. So, needless to say, yeah, it could look prettier, and I'm going to come back with a uh, saw. So I did not have a chainsaw. I did this all by hand, whatever. And uh, just a little more effort, a little more time, but got done either way. Um, it had been a while since this had been used, so I went ahead and took all the leaves from the front. This does not even do it justice. You don't even see. But we basically had about six inches of leaves in this entire place. We break the front yard. They're all oak leaves, so they're great to compost in. And then instead of just leaving them full, you know, like this, I brought the lawnmower back here and mulched the crap out of it. We just went over and over and over it until it all turned into that. And then tilled all that in. Now the tiller, that was fun also. Um, my neighbor said he had a tiller. And then, whenever we borrowed it, which is really nice, you know. So, I mean, I'm not complaining whatsoever, because if you're borrowing something, you can't complain. But I'd, I had, the idea in my head was a little bigger. Of course, you know, Dad ran a teller one time, and he went w way big and got the biggest one you could get. And so that's what I had in my head. And then I saw this, I was like, whoa. So, yeah, this to say. So what we did... Instead, of course, I have no truck or even something I could put on a trailer. That's going to change soon. So I had to go to Home Depot and rent whatever would fit in my little dinky Saturn car, which is this guy. Which, you know, it's not grand or great, but it's better. And I made up for how small it is with time. Yesterday, me and Lucas, so yeah, here's the lawnmower that did the damage. Um... Me and Lucas basically just hit it up and over and over and over. We did it for hours yesterday. And, uh, so, we made up for it in time. But, I got it all tilled. Sorry, one more is going to be just a little bit loud. I'll try to get behind the trees. Maybe that'll quieten it a little. Probably not. So... I got my soil sample here. Let's see if you can read it. We got a pH of 8.1. Everything looked great except the nitrates, which is really low. So they recommended 1.3 pounds of nitrates. This is going to be really loud. Sorry. Holy moly. Um, I don't know if you can hear. Sorry. So basically everything's good. Sodium's low, but that's good. Iron, a little low. Alright, I'm gonna go in for a second. Fixing to make rows. You can see I've got my line up. There's a row. You can see here's gonna be another row. Gonna be another row right here. Another row here. And then the last one there. Let's go inside for a second or at least where it's quieter. Here's Lucas's little play, playground thing, whatever you want to call it. Say hi guys. Hi. What's up? Mama's, hi. Mama's giving me that look of you woke me up early, you suck. Lucas, you want to say hi? Hey little helper, you got your rain boots on. He loves boots because he can put them on himself. That's a lawnmower, buddies. That's the look of like, what is that going on over there? Lawnmower. Whoa. All right. Cool little greenhouse area. Probably not gonna make it any quieter. All right, let's go up to the front. So.
So I look up. Let's go in here. So I got my soil sample here, right? Everything looks good on it. The only thing I need is iron, and I was kind of worried about my pH. Their recommendations were just to put down nitrogen, nothing else. And then on the, uh, oh yeah, here's the best part of my soil sample. Organic matter, 4.86, that's really good. So uh, it says apply some nitrogen every four to six, need, four to six weeks is needed. Uh, some iron every four to six weeks. So I was a little worried about the pH. I noticed that when I was looking stuff up, here's some iron, and all of the iron said it also acidified the soil, which is great because I'm supposed to be getting from 8.1 down to 6.5, which is ideal. At that pH, all of the nutrients in your soil are more available to the plants. So you could have all this stuff in here. Woohoo, that's all great. But if your pH is off, your plants aren't going to be able to utilize it. So, bam, I found that stuff. It's good because all I need is nitrogen. Um, the sulfur, I believe, is what actually makes it acidify the soil. I put this down at the recommended for 8.1, about a pound per 100 square feet. And that worked out because I had a little bit left that I needed in my 800 square foot garden. And I was able to put down this, uh, what I really wanted out of it was the biotone. I don't care about anything except I wanted the beneficial bacteria and I wanted mycorrhizae, but I couldn't find it. Um, so what it has here is it's different types of bacillus. Um, so I went ahead and did that. I threw in a little extra, you know, potassium phosphate and stuff like that. Um, but used about half that bag. Put a little blood meal in there to last because that's an extended release nitrogen as opposed to this nitrogen and this, which will just quickly go in. And that's right. Yeah, fertilizer. Fertilizer. Can, can you say fertilizer? Yeah, we're getting over sick. Lucas. Huh? That's right. And so, here is what the garden is going to look like. Kind of hard for you to see, but out there where it was 20 feet wide and 40 foot long, we're going to have, this is where you walk in, basically. You walk in and, come on, zoom in. Here's what we're going to have. There we go. I'm probably going to have to give up on the broccoli and the spinach because it's going to be too warm. I'm kind of getting this in too late. I may still try it just to see. But, um, come on. Why is this having such a hard time? Boy, it definitely is, though. Yeah. There you go. Strawberry. Peppers, zucchini. I'm not gonna be able to do kale. It's too hot here in San Antonio. <laughs> Corn, just for the fun of it. I know that's ridiculous, but I'm going to. Cantaloupe, squash, okra. Over here is my composter. But really, what I'm gonna set up is I'm gonna probably put a table over there and do kind of a little area to. When you're picking stuff, you can put it on your, you know, set it in paper bags on the table and. Kind of like a place to put your stuff or whatever. I'm probably going to revise this a little. I only left myself like two feet off the front of this. Um, after I tilled and did everything, I'm realizing that's not enough room to walk. I'm probably going to do like this side where I got four feet, which is good. So I'll probably push this stuff back. And maybe on that back side also. And I've only got myself three foot on this left side over here. It's not going to be very much, but that's what I've already left myself. That's the way it is. Um, this middle area is three foot, I believe. Four foot, sorry. So that's going to give me a lot of room to walk up and down there. Yeah, that's what I get for doing my first year of gardening. I'm pretty sure after I do this, I'm going to figure out that, wow, leave yourself more space to walk in between the rows. And, you know, hey, it'll be a learning experience. But for my first year, I'm pretty sure it's going to be good. Oh, also, 
Come on, buds, let's go inside. Bro, you want to get in the car, huh? Um, can you shut the garage door? Shut the door, buddies. Shut, shut the garage door. You get it? There you go. There you go. Uh, this one you gotta pull a little harder, right? Uh, uh, good job. All right, 